Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be new, what's up? My name is Dana. I'm so glad you decided to stop by. Texas, your humidity beat my hair today. And every day, it's like frizzy and getting kind of pubescent like, like little pubes, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, yeah, if you happen to be new, we talk about PB frizzy hair on my channel, so if that's something you're into, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it and love to have you guys join the family. But moving on to today's video, we are going to be discussing eyeshadows, more specifically warm eyeshadows, because I feel like this is the perfect time of the year to bust out those like copper, burgundy, warm eyeshadows. Who am I kidding? I wear those all year round just because that's my jam. I am down with a really good like nutty, brown, rusty, copper, Type of eyeshadow so if you are into that and if you are into spending ten dollars or under on eyeshadows then this video is definitely going to be for you if you guys would like to see more of these like ten dollars and under type of videos be sure to give this video a thumbs up okay so speaking of ten dollars and under there's only really so many brands well I guess technically there's lots of brands but I was trying to think of brands that were easily accessible that have sales um, yeah, just shadows that are easy to get your hands on. So I do have, I believe, four that are $10, but everything else is under $10. In fact, $6 and below, which I can get down with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with my very favorite brand first. If you guys have been with me for a while, then this should come as no surprise. But I have several ColourPop shadows to share with you guys, both um, the Super Shock shadows, which are these little guys here, as well as some of their pressed pigments. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and break it down by brand, and I will be sure to go ahead and link these products or list the names down below for you guys. So starting off with the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, these are $5 a piece. If you're unfamiliar with ColourPop, pop after you spend $30, which is normally about six products because their products range from five to six dollars. So I guess five or six products, you get free shipping with $30. So that's definitely the way to go. Really easy to spend $30 on that site. I believe they're actually having a sale right now, at least as of today. Today is September 22nd. I'm going to try to get this video up today as well. Um, I saw a deal where it was either buy two, get one free or two free, something like that. I'll leave the details right here. All right, let's run through these seven shadows quickly, starting off with the one that I'm actually wearing on my lid right now. My favorite way to apply these is either just with my index finger or the Sigma E20. I believe it's like the dense shader brush. So if you're unfamiliar with these, they're just basically moussey type of cream squishy shadows but the pigmentation is incredible. They're super easy to apply and they last on your lid all day. Like look at that, just a really nice warm matte orange. So that is what I have all over my lid. And what I'll do to kind of blend it into my crease is just either use that same dense shader brush that I'm using and kind of like do windshield wiper motions or I'll just get a clean finger and kind of drag the shade upwards. Such a gorgeous color. Now, if you're looking for something more shimmery and metallic, this one is called Game Face. I've actually gone through two of these. Like look at this pigmentation. Oh, that's not giving it enough justice. We need to zoom in a little bit. Can we focus, but not on my face, please? Thank you so much, camera. But it's just this gorgeous kind of a bronzy gold color. Even both of those shades together are amazing. You really can't go wrong with ColourPop shadows, especially their warm collection. They're all so, so pretty. They do offer a lot of these in quads as well. Next up, I have the shade Muse. This one has a little bit of a duochrome quality to it. So it's kind of like a rosy mauve, but there's definitely bits of gold in there. I love this one for just all over the lid. It is so, so pretty. It actually kind of reminds me of a less glittery version of one of the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow. I think that's what it's called. I did an entire video of those as well. If you're looking for something super metallic-y and you don't mind spending a little bit more money, I believe those are in like the $24 range. Those are some of my favorite like glittery shadows. Next up we have the shade Elixir. This is another kind of matte shade, kind of similar to, what was it called? Melrose, but maybe a little bit more of like a pinky orange, but still one of those really good, just warm orangey browns. Now if you're looking for something more kind of like rich and burgundy, if you're a fan of like Makeup Geek Bitten, this one will be right up your alley. This is ColourPop's Porter. I believe this came from the Kathleen Lights collection. This one is so richly pigmented. If you're looking for like a really good monochromatic look. This one is stunning. Like if you were to blend that out with maybe like Makeup Geek Cherry Cola, I think that would be so, so pretty. I have two more ColourPop shades here. This one came from the K-pop collection and it is called Crenshaw. This is another one that I love for all over my lid whenever I'm going in with a matte look. And then for the very final ColourPop shadow, this one is called Sequin. This is definitely more of like a sparkly rose gold. This and Summer Lovin' are probably like my top two favorite ColourPop shadows of all time. I don't know why I didn't have Summer Lovin' in here, but honestly, they're pretty similar. So if you're looking 
looking for something more of like a copper penny with some rose gold. Whenever you apply this one, your eyes are basically just like popping from a mile away just because the dimension and the glitter in it. Oh, I love it. It's so, so good. Okay, so that's it for the Super Shock shadows. Now moving on to some of the press shadows from ColourPop. Now, when I show you these, I'm sure so many people are gonna be like, um, Dana, there's way more warm shadows that ColourPop offers. I realize that, but these are just some of my top go-to. I didn't want to make this video super, super long because I'm sure it's already long because we all know that I'm long-winded. So ignoring this bottom row, but concentrating more on these top two here, these are some of my must-haves from both Makeup Geek and ColourPop. You know what I just realized? MAC eyeshadow pans are now $6. I should have included some MAC, but I just now remembered that. Darn it. Okay, it's okay. So now moving on to the pressed eyeshadows from ColourPop. These also retail for $5. They do offer quads as well for $18. So you can save, what, two bucks there? They do come in a nice, like, magnetic, um, it's a cardboard packaging, but the actual base of it is magnetic. I have heard that some people can pop out the foam insert on there and pop in a few more shadows. I just like to keep them in something larger. So this is what I use. This is from Makeup Forever. I believe it is $14 or $16. I think this is the largest one that they have. This one here is called Note to Self. Maybe it'll be easier if I just swatch all of these on my arm first and then show you. I think that's what we're gonna do, but I just wanted to quickly show you this one because this is one of my favorite type of kind of like camel shade. This is just perfect if you're wanting to do an all over monochromatic look, if you're wanting to do something just to really like diffuse out your transition, this is your go-to. I use it pretty much every day. Next we have the cousin of Note to Self. This one is called Fleckles. It's still kind of camely, but it has slight, slight bit more of like a cooler tone brown in it, but I would still definitely consider it a warm shadow. Like even after just watching that, it's a color that just looks like it's meant to be used to blend out a nice like warm brown smoky look. Such a great color. Okay, these next two don't have the stickers on them. They actually came in one of the very first quads that ColourPop ever released. It wasn't high maintenance because that was like the purple and mauves. It was the other one. I'll go ahead and annotate the names right here. But these next two shadows are ones that I use pretty regularly. Like if not every day on days that I wear eyeshadow, then at least every other, especially this fourth one right here. Ugh. Just look at it. I mean, if you love orange type of rusty, red, just beautiful warmness, I mean, that's your color right there. I love that one. Okay, and then the final two, let's see, we have Top Notch. This is another favorite of mine. And then Popular Demand. So let me swatch both of them. And I'll just give you guys a quick glimpse of what they look like in the pan. So this one here is Top Notch, and then this one here is Popular Demand. And then there are the swatches. Even just looking at the six of those shadows together, like does that not look like the perfect matte palette if you're just wanting to create like warm brown looks? Obviously a really deep dark brown in there probably would have been good. In fact, what's this one right here? I have, how do you pronounce this? Notch, Notch, N-O-C-H-E. This is more of kind of like a plummy brown, but if we included something deep in there, I don't know, at least for me, that would be a go-to. Why did I swatch this so awkwardly? But just look at that. That would be like my perfect go-to everyday warm neutral palette if you're just looking for mattes. I honestly love these. You can't go wrong with any of these shades. Okay, now moving on to Makeup Geek. I have seven of the normal press shadows. Those retail for $6 a piece, so a dollar more than the ColourPop ones. I have to say, I feel like I don't really hear as many people talk about Makeup Geek anymore, which kind of makes me sad because I feel like that's like where my first true love lies when it came to individual pan eyeshadows, but I feel like ColourPop has definitely kind of started to take over. I still love both Makeup Geek and ColourPop. I will say I have been using ColourPop more recently just because they've been releasing more and more shades but I love both of them equally so this one here is called chickadee which is no I didn't really pull anything from ColourPop that looks like this this is definitely more of like a yellowy orange shade it kind of reminds me of like Kraft mac and cheese but this is another one that is so so pretty in the crease I mean look at that you can definitely see how it pulls can we focus please more of a yellowy orange then we have another type of orange shade. This one is called Early Bird, and this is basically just a slightly deeper version of Chickadee. 
Maybe this one looks more, no, the other one definitely looked more like Kraft Mac and Cheese. So there is Chickadee, and then this one is Early Bird. Now moving on to more of like kind of the mauve brownie shades. This one is called Goddess. This is probably one of my ultimate favorites from Makeup Geek, along with Coco Bear and Bitten, which are both in here. In fact, let's go ahead and just swatch up Coco Bear. If you're gonna get any shadow from Makeup Geek, like matte wise, this needs to be in your collection. This is like the perfect, do you like how I'm just like pulling my arm fat over? This is like the perfect warm teddy bear brown. Absolutely love that shade. Okay, we have three more. This one is called Sidekick. And it kind of reminds me of Coco Bear, but I feel like it has a little bit of, how would you describe that? Like kind of like a rosiness to it. This is gonna go down as like the most like awkwardly swatched video of life. Okay, and then my two favorite kind of like burgundies from Makeup Geek are Cherry Cola and Bitten. Bitten came out first and that was honestly like my go-to shadow from Makeup Geek. It doesn't swatch the best, but I promise on your lids, it definitely looks more saturated. So this is Bitten. And then here we have Cherry Cola. So you can see Bitten has gotten a lot of love. So the deeper one is Cherry Cola right here. And then on the top we have Bitten. They're pretty similar, but like I said, Bitten doesn't swatch that pretty, but on your lids, it's stunning. Especially if you're wanting to really like deepen up the outer corners or smoke out your lower lash line, that's a total favorite of mine. Okay, and then the final four shadows I have here, these are the most expensive from this video. These retail for $10 a piece, but they're absolutely amazing when it comes to like something that's super, super just metallic and in your face. These are the Makeup Geek foiled eyeshadows. So first up we have Flamethrower. If you are looking for like a freaking bomb ass copper eyeshadow, this one is it. I don't think you're ready for it. Bam. I mean, just the metallicness in this one is absolutely stunning. This looks so good all over your lid. I like to blend this one out with Coco Bear. It is so pretty. I know the bottom of my hand looks crazy, but I can't get it off right now. Okay, then we have the shade Legend. Honestly, I don't know which one is my favorite out of these four just because the metallicness in these, it's just incredible. It's so, so saturated. I remember when these first came out, everyone was like all over them. Okay, so there is Legend. This is definitely more of kind of like a, not yellow gold, but like a bronze gold. If you're looking for something more of a yellow gold, this one is called Untamed. This is what it looks like in the pan. These are definitely like softer eyeshadows, so you do wanna be careful. They're packed in there, but like if you were to drop this or like push your finger in it too hard, you could definitely like squish the shadow. So there is Untamed. Wait, is that what it's called? Yeah. Okay, so here is Curtain Call. This is definitely more of kind of like a berry burgundy shade. This one is so good, especially blended out with Cherry Cola. Like, look at those two shades together. Yes, please. In fact, I might wear that tomorrow. Okay, so that is it for my top warm fall goodness type of eyeshadows, $10 and under. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would really appreciate it. If you guys have any specific video requests, just be sure to leave those down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.